In pursuit of digital transformation, many organizations are adopting new technologies into their IT ecosystem without first considering the digital risks associated with that investment. Joining us is Ben Descharnes, Vice President of Product Marketing at RSA to help us better understand the new RSA risk frameworks, a set of maturity models that can help an organization understand their risk exposure in comparison to industry standards. Ben, to start off, tell us a little bit about what RSA Risk Frameworks is. Sure, yeah. The way I think about RSA Risk Frameworks is it's really a way to engage with the challenges that you're going to, that you have today across your risk management and security operations, but start to think about those challenges in the context of digital transformation mm -hmm. and the introduction of what we would call digital risk as part of that transformation process. So there's a dynamic that changes in terms of the way you manage risk and intersect that risk with security when you start to talk about digital. Fundamentally, those operations have to become more cohesive, more closely aligned. Mm -hmm. So the frameworks are really a way to understand where do I stand today in terms of the capabilities within those distinct domains, but most importantly, across those domains, and what do I need to do to improve? Now, you mentioned the alignment with industry standards. The mm -hmm. other thing we find customers like about this model is they are generally tracking and aligned with things like the NIST cybersecurity framework. So they start with a common understood framework that organizations can look at, start to break down some of these challenges into familiar terminology or familiar phases, and then do that process of assessing where am I and how do I get better. And let's talk a little bit about that assessment. Sure. How does that actually work, um, and, and how is RSA going into these organizations and performing that assessment? Yeah, sure. So, you know, every organization is different, of course, um, but there is a foundational set of capabilities that you need to have, both in terms of understanding your risk, starting to monitor for and respond to that risk, and then mm -hmm. starting to apply what you learn from that process to certain security controls. So the assessment process really starts with a, it's typically a 80 to 100 question set process, mm -hmm. and you go through that, and of course there's nuances to the answers, and each of those, each of those questions will result in a score. And that score can be tabulated. Again, we would put those scores and break those down across common frameworks like the cybersecurity framework so that you can kind of look at um, your maturity level in, say, the protect phase of cybersecurity framework versus detection, response, recovery. Mm -hmm. And with that score in hand, yeah. what does an organization then go do? How can they begin then improving, if you will, their score? Yeah, so the way I think about the RSA risk frameworks is they are a foundation to something of a roadmap for you. Mm. So you can start to think about, at the end of the day, it's going to be a combination of people, process, and technology always right. that's going to advance these things, right? So as, as part of this roadmap that emerges for you through this risk framework, you can start to identify what are the new processes that I need to look at to drive more of a coordinated response, for mm -hmm. instance, to a security incident? Right. And how am, I, how am I informing the security operation of the business severity, not necessarily the security severity as defined by things like CVSS, but the business impact to my organization, how am I coordinating around that in response? So that's, that's really how it's going to you know, advance their maturity level. Ben, as part of RSA risk frameworks, it sounds mm -hmm. like there's a lot of process involved with advancing yeah. the maturity. Can you help us understand the technology component of all this? Yeah, it's a great question because um, process has to be underlying the yeah. effective use of technology, right? But there's definitely a lot of technology at play here. As a leader in providing integrated risk management platforms and the foundational technology for many security operations, obviously we're very focused on the intersection of those technologies and then applying those technologies to the various controls that you have as part of a layered security and layered defense strategy. So part of the process of the assessment and really the advancement of their maturity score will be identifying some of those technologies. Some will be RSA technologies, mm -hmm. but others will be technologies from partners that we have within our ecosystem where we've got strong integrations mm -hmm. that can enable this need for coordination across the risk function, the security function, and then those controls. Got it. Well, thank you, Ben, for helping us understand RSA Risk Frameworks. To learn more, be sure to visit rsa.com.